With Moyamoya syndrome, there's some kind of progressive narrowing of the two major arteries in the front of your neck, the carotid arteries. That narrowing gradually constricts the blood flow to the brain. The goal of surgery is to provide a separate avenue to get blood to the brain. The child and their family who come to CHOP for surgery because of their blood vessel disease, their moya moya, or any other vascular disease, is going to experience what I feel is an incomparable team approach and care that starts from the moment they walk in the door to not only after they leave the hospital, but for years to come, for as long as they need it. Moya moya is the the name that was given because the way it looks on the radiograph, like a puff of smoke, it's a Japanese term. Moya moya is a disease of the blood vessels. Usually you, you'll see a narrowing of the carotid arteries, and then they often end up developing decreased blood flow to the brain, which leads to less oxygen to the brain, which then can lead to a stroke. A stroke is a clinical condition that is caused by a loss of blood flow or bleeding in a part of the brain. It's certainly something that we see plenty of. They can be having headaches, they may be having transient weakness. People may not be thinking as, as a result from stroke because they don't think of, of children as having strokes. Thought it was a, a sinus issue and thought, oh well, I'm not gonna leave the ER until they do a CAT scan to, to see what's going on with her sinuses. It being a stroke, it just took me totally off guard. Um, what five-year-old has a stroke? I mean, we all know how to handle a, an elderly person that has a stroke, but how do you handle a five-year-old that's had a stroke? Within a few hours, we were at CHOP, and Dr. Icord came in. She first gave us the diagnosis, was like, oh, this is Moya Moya disease, yes, it's very rare, but let me tell you about it. And she knew everything about it. I think that, that level of sort of calmness that the whole hospital has with new or novel or unusual disease is helpful for the family because they can just see it as a health problem that we know how to treat. We talked more about the Moya Moya disease itself um, and what it does and what it causes and that there was surgery available. They talked about the surgery and that they had done it before. It's going to be this way and we're both going to be working on each side, Dr. Storm, Dr. Hewer. It, it put my mind absolutely at ease. The point of the peel synangiosis is to provide another access another delivery system of blood to the brain with the goal being to prevent further strokes. You can sometimes talk about it in terms of say a traffic jam and if one road is blocked then you have to reroute the traffic through another road. So we have a set of blood vessels that go to our, our skull and our scalp and skin and the surgeon identifies a viable branch from that external circulation. We have favored the indirect bypass at CHOP where you take a superficial temporal artery, which is in the scalp, and then you make an opening in the skull and literally just lay that artery uh, over the brain. It's quite loose, so we literally just remove a piece of bone and then lay that artery that's quite free on top of the brain, and then we put the skull back over top, notching out holes on either side, allowing it to come in, go down on the brain, and come back out into the scalp because the brain is trying to get arteries growing into it, that little branches will start growing from that artery, and then you can see huge blood flow through the brain from that. If you put a seed in the ground and it's gonna start growing roots into it, then you lay this artery on top because it needs to, that brain wants to be fed oxygen, it will start growing into it to deliver blood and ultimately oxygen. We tell the family it doesn't usually cause much pain, hospitalization is about maximum two to three days, um, and then they can go home. You don't get a benefit right away, it often takes three, six months, and then we do a repeat angiogram in a year just to see how the blood flow is developing. I think one of the, the big benefits of having your neurosurgical care at CHOP is that all the other related fields are so strong. Neurosurgery is rarely a condition where you have one surgery and you're done. I mean, there are those, we have plenty of those, but in general, these are complicated patients who need a lot of care, either neuro-oncology, neurology, endocrinology, physical therapy, rehabilitation. I mean, all that happens 
under one umbrella. The Pediatric Stroke Program at CHOP um, has expertise in caring for children with Moya Moya, including their medical care, um, surgery, but also sort of the long-term needs of patients, whether that is um, physical, psychological, school-related. The Pediatric Stroke Program at CHOP was one of the first established in the nation and is viewed widely as one of the best. We see children with all different types of strokes and also other kinds of problems with the blood vessels in the brain. Stroke is just one part of neurovascular disorders. Many other kinds of abnormalities may affect the blood vessels of the brain. There are malformations called arteriovascular malformations. Another type is called a cavernous malformation. These and other kinds of blood vessel diseases can cause injury to the brain through bleeding or through a risk of bleeding. And so the stroke program in partnership with many other departments and with the surgery department take care of those kinds of problems together as well as we take care of Moya Moya and the more traditional stroke condition. We do over a thousand cases a year. One of the busiest, if not the busiest, pediatric neurosurgery um, departments in the country. We also are diverse. We do a lot of different kinds of operations. But well, we do enough of them to be familiar in the hospital, to be familiar with what we're doing. So it doesn't feel like you're getting sent from one doctor to another. It feels like they're, it's a seamless set of doctors who are all talking to each other. Every time we came, there was a, either a social worker or the a neurologist or, or someone was always there. Awesome, respectful, go out of their way to, do you need anything? The most rewarding part is having the kids succeed and seeing them come so far and work so hard and surpass you know the expectations that their parents had. I can be in the kitchen making cookies and she can play. She's okay. Um, I try to live um, every day and let her be a kid. The great thrill to me is just to witness, to bear witness to how well children recover, how determined they are how they find a way to be happy and whole, and that is humbling, it's, uh, it's endlessly fascinating, and it's very rewarding.